You know, it's funny, like, oh! oh. <laughs> I don't look exhausted right now. I feel a little tired because I just took a fat nap, big juicy nap. I loved it. I told myself I was only gonna sleep for 15 minutes and guess what? Guess what this did? He slept for an hour because you know what? All right, so for today's video, you guys have requested I do this video for the last week. So many people have been like, Brad, you have to watch this video of Molly Burke getting her hair colored or of her cutting her hair off. So if you don't already know Molly Burke, she is a blind woman and she cut her hair off and donated it. So we're gonna watch that video really quickly and then we're gonna watch a video of her getting her hair colored by a celebrity hairdresser, um, which you guys apparently have a lot of problems with. There's some major tea surrounding this I got my hair done by a celebrity hairdresser video that she uploaded. And apparently you guys don't think he did a very good job. So we're gonna watch it together. I'm gonna give you my opinion on it. I also wanna mention that I briefly talked to Molly on Twitter yesterday and she was like, if Brad reacts to my video, he's not too mean to me. And I said back to her, girl, I'm never that mean. I definitely am not gonna be mean to a fellow YouTuber because that's just awkward, you know? And you know what? It's just hair at the end of the day. It's not that big of a deal. She's a great face. So as long as you have a great face, it's fine. You might get, have messed up hair sometimes, but you can always fix it. It's super easy and whatever. That's what I wanted to say. So Molly, hi, how are you? I'm gonna watch this video and try not to be too mean. I'm not gonna be mean, okay? You know what? I'm gonna stop talking now. Let's get it started. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with the video of her cutting her hair off blindly. And I'm gonna fast forward to the part where she cuts it. Um, by the way, she is donating all of her hair. Just wanted to mention that, because um, that was the whole purpose of these videos, according to Molly. That's what she said on Twitter yesterday. So I just wanted to mention that to all of you guys before I watch this. Say goodbye to the classic Molly top knot, an array of photos of Molly's top knot here. Because the only reason I wear that top knot in every video and in everything I do is because I just literally can't function with this hair down. It's it is so long. Oh my god. It's very long. It's hard to function with. I, every night when I sleep, I like roll over onto my own hair. I could I never deal with that much hair. My dad, it took me an hour and a half to detangle my hair from the wind. So I, I just keep trying to convince myself. No. Chop that shit off. Dad. That is too much work. No. <laughs> Yes. Okay, sis. That's not really a centered part, to be honest, though. <laughs> it's like off centered. So I read that it's best to part your hair into four ponytails. Okay, work. A little hairdresser over here. So can I. We want to measure 10 inches. Eight inches is the requirement. And I'm doing. I'm doing 11. Yes, we love an overachiever. Okay, bigger the better, honey. Oh my god, this is gonna be so freaking short. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so sorry. So where are you going now? Are you, are you it's gonna look so much better. Yeah. I, I thought you were doing the lower parts. No, no, I couldn't donate that. I read that they like didn't want me to braid it. I was gonna braid it, but it said not to. So they said to like put multiple elastics. These are my like beautiful scissors <laughs> and they're so strong. So hopefully. Ah! We love it. I love it already. She looks so so mature, I mean like from zero to 60 and 3.5, okay? They're living vicariously through me because most people can't grow such long, healthy hair. Okay. <laughs> the shade. <laughs> Work. Work. I love. Oh my god, look at those healthy ends though. She's doing a good job, like honestly. I was like wondering where all her hair was. There it is. I'm like, girl, that's all you had on those ends, those two straggly pieces. Um, where's the rest? There it is. That's my answer. Work. Work. There it goes, you guys. She chopped it. She did a good job. I'm kind of be impressed with this. Yay! You guys, don't forget, if you cut a lot of hair off your hair, don't forget to donate it, alright? 
I'm not sure if hair we share. I never heard of that, but and I don't really know a good donation place, so I'm sorry. I can't really give them any recommendations on that one, but Molly likes hair we share, so you know what? If you're gonna do a donation, maybe you should do it for hair we share. All right, that's enough of that. Now let's move on to her getting her hair colored, which is the tea sipping portion of this video. This is the thing I'm the worst at, but I, I'm, I'm very well known for Gwen Stefani. We've been together and- I love Gwen Stefani's hair. She is like a blonde a icon. I've had the pleasure of movies, uh, Perfect yeah, process. Magazines, just really all of it. I'm also a global ambassador with Pantene. Uh, okay, we're Pantene. <laughs> Where's my global ambassador-ish with Pantene? So I know I'm in good hands. <laughs> I trust you because this, I mean, I have to trust you so much because I'm not going to be able to see myself. You can so see true. Oh my God. I didn't even think God, about that. Like That's so scary. So today we're going to clean up your cut and do some color. I brought Work. some shades. You know, I'm going on what you've shown me, but there's room to play. Okay. What, are the, what are the details that you're looking for from the cut? Yes. Like just to honor you, I'm going to cut your hair with my eyes closed. Oh, today. good. <laughs> blind hair yes. No. We because love a blind hair stylist. Work. I don't usually look in the mirror, so I can cut it so you have the illusion of a shorter bang. He's so really calm. I've like never seen a hairdresser be so calm. They're always like, hi, what's up? Let's cut your hair and color it. <laughs> you know, it's interesting to me. I've seen another uh, one of Molly's videos where she says, like, she can kind of see, like, shadows and stuff. I don't really know if this is correct or not, but I'm just, like, curious how she knows that she likes hair color at the, at the eye. It's very interesting to me. Very, very interesting. I don't, I don't get it, but you know what? I don't get a lot of things in life, so <laughs> this is just another one on the list. Okay, you guys, I'm ready for this. I don't want to be mean to a fellow hairdresser, so I'm gonna hold back a little bit, but okay. We're putting bleach on. Oh, that's it? Okay. <laughs> I mean, we all have different techniques. That was fast though. He literally just like put a little bit of lightener on there, no blending or anything. Looks like random sectioning to. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, listen. To me, this is a big no no. Every hairdresser is different, however. So I don't know how this is gonna come out. Apparently, it didn't come out good, so I'm assuming this is not a very. Good technique. Uh, I mean, I personally would have never colored hair like this because uh, it's very messy and you're gonna get a lot of bleeding, you're gonna get spotting, you're, it's gonna be a total mess. Um, and the color is not gonna be blended at all because there's literally no rhyme or reason to how he's coloring this hair right now. At least that's how it looks to me. Uh, I'm very concerned. <laughs> this is a little bit worse than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, okay. Let's keep watching. Okay, he's working that bleach the in. <laughs> working that bleach in. Great fortune to have spanned. Okay. He's got to New York in the he's got his assistant. We love crazy. an assistant. Guys, it's lightning. Apparently it's starting yeah, to get blonde see. looking. Ooh, okay. That looks cute. A little orange yellow number. Let's see how it lightens. Let's see. Let's see. I can't really see it. Oh. Oh wait. It lightens decently nice. I I don't think they mentioned what color she's going unless I skip that part. I mean, it looks like red's going on there. And so far, I can't really like see much of what's going on behind her head. I mean, the the ends look like they're okay. It was like a blush pink color. We love blush pink. I need to stop saying we love. It's really annoying. Oh look, they're using overtone. I love overtone. Oh, they look like it looks like they're using the rose gold overtone. Okay, the blend looks good from this angle. Um, but like we'll see. Alright? I'm not gonna judge it yet, you know? But if you wanna do an overall, I would do the Wait. T. Do an overall. T Okay. Again, I'm not gonna be too harsh in this video, but so I'm just gonna be honest, real here, there's no blending. <laughs> it's like a bunch of jagged lines. It's not usually how an ombre is done. Listen, 
well, again, we all wear different techniques, different styles. Maybe that's how he likes the hair to look. I don't know. I'm not judging him. Maybe I am a little bit, but I'm just telling you my opinion. I don't want people to hate me from this video. Like, I don't, I don't want any beef with any hairdressers or Molly. So, <laughs> my opinion, it doesn't have, it needs way more blending and way more variation in heights of the highlights. And I'm not sure what's going on with this color. It's like a red, rose, gold, kind of like a dusty, but like dirty looking, like not glossy and not shiny and not pretty. <clears throat> I said it, not, not pretty. All right, let's keep watching. Overall, I would do the rose gold overtone. And then if you want to play vibrance, there's the oh. red and pink. Pink absorbed okay. really beautifully in it. I would love this shot. That was such like a makeover show shot where they go behind the like, glass like that. <gasps> you know what's funny? She like looks like she's not happy, but she also can't see her hair. So <laughs> I think she's just like, I don't know, does it look good? Molly, darling, I gotta be honest with you, it doesn't look that good. But you're still beautiful. Um, It doesn't look, I uh, listen, if I just saw you on the street, I don't think I'd even look twice at your hair. Okay. I would probably look once, not twice, but I would look once and I'd be like, oh girl, somebody did do a little wrong. But um, again, it's just my opinion. <laughs> Trying to not burn any bridges right now or like make anybody angry. But uh, I don't know what's going on. This this tone is a little, a little crazy. Like, like old Haley Williams kind of stuff. It does like, look like, like old Haley Williams. Like red pink sort of like mixed together that's a cool thing too when it's like up and then you get the like number <laughs> still on yeah, your bang exactly. you're long enough that you can still go up yeah yeah so. you know it's funny like oh, oh. <laughs> can we do a zoom in of this this situation oh there's lines everywhere in this mess there's just lines like horizontal lines in her hair it's like pink orange and yellow um, and it doesn't look purposeful. That's all I'm gonna say. Eek, 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 And it's great because it's like I spent hours blowing your hair out. Like, even though blowouts are fabulous, and I know every girl would that. Normally, you know, I'd be like, you know what, he never know <laughs> what they had in their hair before this, or like what horribleness this hairdresser was combating to, and that's why it didn't come out that great, but he got like the perfect palette to work with. Healthy hair and virgin hair. And But this is pretty easy to fix. Um, I could just, I, I'm acting like I'm doing it. Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's see, it looks good when he brushes it all the way to the side. But if you had it center parted or whatever, uh, it would not be looking like that. <laughs> but yeah, if I were to fix this, I mean, Molly, if you need me to fix it, I'm gonna be in LA in like two weeks for BeautyCon LA. If you guys haven't got your tickets to that, make sure you buy some and come meet me. I would love to meet you guys. But anyways, if you want me to come fix it, girl, I got you. I can just bring down some dark pieces, bring up some light pieces, give you some variation and range, and then put a new, different toner on the whole thing, and make it so much cuter. <laughs> but it's not that hard to fix, and you still look gorgeous. So don't worry about it, Molly. All right, that's the end result, you guys. It's a cute pony, though. But what's happening here, too, is you have the dark sweeping to the color. Yeah. So it's, it's a nice fade. Happy hair. Happy hair. Happy hair. Happy girl. I couldn't. I'm so thankful to you. I cannot tell you what happened. Are you Alright, Molly. I'm sorry if I tried to really not be mean. I don't think I was. You look great. You look beautiful. Your hair is not that bad. Listen, I've seen way, way, way worse in my life. It's also easily fixable. It's just hair. Please don't let the comments get to you. I know people have been leaving a lot of mean comments under that video. Don't let them get to you, you look great. And thank you for sharing that video with the internet. I thoroughly enjoyed watching it. <laughs> and if the hairdresser who did the hair is watching this, I'm sorry. I'm just giving my opinion. And you know what, I'm sure you're great. And yeah, I just don't 
want you to think I'm trying to be an a-hole. Just giving my opinion here, all right? And today's Instagram shout out goes to Alyssa. This is what Alyssa looks like and this is her Instagram handle. What's up, girl? She says, hey, Brad, I recently started binge watching your videos and I love you so much. I love you so much. You're so funny. I recently got bangs and I'm pretty undecided about them. Should I keep them or grow them out? And she said this was before she cut the bangs. This right here. So Molly, Molly Badali, honey, queen, living for the curls. You have gorgeous hair. Love the color, love the curls. Okay, honestly, not obsessed with the bangs. I do love a curly bang, but I don't know. I just like your face shape without it. I think it looks fresher and younger and cleaner. You look great with the bangs but I prefer you without them. So I hope that helps you out. Maybe, yeah, you should grow your bangs out. Thank you for watching me, love. I love you so much. And I, of course, love all of you guys. Thank you all so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I will see you all next time. Peace.